hey y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Latia b and in today's video i'm going to be unboxing a pixie beauty pr box it's been a while since i've done a video on pixie i can't even remember the last video that i did so i figured you know let's go ahead and see what they sent me and do an unboxing and try out the products that, that i have so this is what's oh so they sent me some skincare goodies, which is perfect timing because I'm about to take my makeup off. So this is a six step system that includes a makeup remover, cleanser, a peel, a milky tonic, hydrating milky serum, and a hydrating milky lotion to moisturize. Like y'all, I just cannot get over this packaging. Like this is just so cute to me. Step one is the hydrating milky makeup remover. It says it's supposed to comfort and nourish with every serving. I think it's really cute because it has what they call skin loving benefits which is similar to like the nutritional facts one thing that i can always count on pixie for is like some really cute packaging so this is what the hydrating milky makeup remover looks like this is a bi-phase makeup remover it says it's a hydrating makeup remover effectively removes waterproof and long wear eye lip and face makeup coconut and probiotics help to moisturize and balance skin shake to mix soak a cotton pad and gently press onto eye lip or face to fully remove stubborn makeup so I'm gonna just gently shake the makeup remover. I love that it has a pump on the top. Wow, okay. So far it's doing really good. This is how my face is looking after using the makeup remover and it actually feels pretty soft and very clean. But now I'm gonna go ahead and follow up with the cleanser. It says that this is a rich moisturizing daily cleanser, soothing cream cleanser with coconut probiotics and willow bark extract. It says it conditions and moisturizes as it thoroughly cleanses the skin for all skin types, including very dry. You can use it daily and you apply a coin size amount in massage cream into skin. Remove with moist cloth or rinse off with water. Man, this safety seal is hard to get off. I am mad at it because it's there, but it's tough. It's like this one had extra glue on it. <laughs> this product doesn't really have too much of a scent like it smells like something i'm not sure but it's very light so i'm just gonna take some of the cream and just massage it into my face it does feel very smooth and soothing as i massage it in which is really good to remove the cleanser it says to remove it by using a moist towel or to rinse it off with water i'm going to go ahead and rinse it off with water and while i'm doing that i'm going to wash my hair so just a heads up for when i come back if you see me and my hair is looking a little different that's why just got done rinsing off my face and washing and conditioning my hair i did notice as i was rinsing off my face that under here i still had some eye makeup so i'm going to go ahead and use some of the remover just to get rid of what i missed now for step number three which is the peel this is the hydrating milky peel and so far my skin does feel good except for this area right here where it does feel a little dry but i tend to dry out right there no matter what type of cleanser i use so hopefully this peel is actually hydrating so it says that this is a gentle micro peeling cream natural cellulose rich in moisture clears away dead skin cells for delicate brightening suitable for all skin types used daily or as needed apply a thin layer onto clean skin avoiding eye area leave on for two to three minutes and then gently massage into skin and rinse off the exfoliating particles in this are super small All right, so now it says to gently massage your skin. Oh, that's interesting. It's like the product is balling up. I don't know if this is dead skin or if it's just a product. I'm kind of feeling like it's a product because I don't feel like I have that much dead skin on my face. If you have used this product, let me know if your peel did this when you tried to use it. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and go rinse my face off really quick. The peel actually was pretty gentle. I don't feel any type of irritation or anything like that and my skin does feel very smooth and soft. Now moving on to step four, which is the toner. This is a soothing milky tonic with jojoba milk and oat. It says it's calming and hydrating milk and rich tonic to comfort complexion. This tonic is infused with oat extract to help soothe and balance, rehydrates, nourishes, and relaxes. It is alcohol free and can be used on all skin types and you can use it AM and PM after cleansing. Mm. I really like the way it smells.
Step five is the hydrating milky serum and it's supposed to revitalize and give your skin a boost. This product does come with a dropper, which is very nice as well as the top that you can screw on. The key ingredients in this serum are rose tip oil, jojoba seed oil, and aloe vera, which is great. I absolutely love jojoba oil and rose hip and aloe vera. So <laughs> this is like perfect. It says that it deeply nourishes dehydrated skin, restoring natural radiance and elasticity, helps improve skin long-term, and instantly plumps and softens fine lines. Rose tip oil and vitamins gives a nutrient-rich boost to complexion for the most optimal hydration. This is also for all skin types and can be used AM and PM daily. And you massage two or three drops onto cleansed, toned skin before your moisturizer. I also really like the fact that in this serum, they put like a stopper to help prevent the serum from spilling. I think that that is just super thoughtful. I will be hanging onto that along with the original top that came with it for if I'm traveling and I don't want it to spill in my bag. Mm, this serum smells so good. This kit does not contain an eye cream, so I am going to go ahead and use the one that I got rid of my most recent BoxyCharm box. This is the one from Murad, the Hydro Dynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. This product definitely feels very hydrating. This is my first time using this, and it feels so good and goes on so easily under and on my eyelid. I feel like it's perfect to use on those days where you wear makeup because my under eyes do tend to get dried out, especially if I'm wearing eye makeup or if I'm doing like all that extra-ness when it comes to applying my foundation and just eye makeup, concealer, things like that. So I feel like this product is going to be really good for the days where I decide to put on some makeup. Finally, step six is to moisturize. This is a deeply hydrating lotion for face and body. I've never used a lotion that I could use on both my face and my body. Usually products that I use on my body are too thick or just not suited for my face. So to be able to use this for both my face and my body, that's low key clutch. So I definitely appreciate that. It says that it's a multi-use moisture lotion delivers improved hydration instantly as well as long-term. A unique blend of coconut oil, shea butter, and cocoa seed extract helps ensure optimum skin health. I may have gotten a little too much of the moisturizer, which is okay because since it can be used for both face and body, I'll just use whatever is left for my hands. This moisturizer smells pretty good as well. It smells just like the serum and the other products. And I like that it's very light. My skin feels so soft and so hydrated and it feels plump like y'all. I am enjoying these products so far. I'm gonna to continue to use it a couple more times to make sure that this isn't just a, you know, beginner's luck or just, you know, because I haven't used it before or whatever. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep using it, see how I like it. But so far, I really enjoyed every single last one of these products. I felt like the makeup remover did a pretty good job with getting the majority of the makeup off of my face. The peel actually was kind of weird to me. I don't know, I gotta figure out why it does that little balling up thing. Like, I don't know if it's because it's trying to catch the dead skin that's on my face, so it reacts with the product and it does that, or what it is, so I don't know. I'll have to look more into that product because that one was just, I don't know, a little weird, but my skin did feel very soft after using it. I really enjoyed the toner. I feel like it was so gentle on my skin and I love that it's alcohol free, so that means it does not dry out your skin. The serum, I feel like that is also really good. I feel like it was extremely hydrating and I love that you only need a few drops to cover your whole face. And finally, the moisturizer is probably my favorite product. Like my skin feels so good. I love that the scent of this whole line is very light. Like even right now, I can't even smell any of the products that I've used, which is great because I have a thing with scents and if it's too strong, I won't use it and I won't like it. <laughs> so I'm really happy that these products did not have a strong scent to them. Overall, I definitely enjoyed using this product, but like I said, I will continue to use them and let y'all know if I have any updates. If you've used any Pixi products, whether it be their skincare products or their makeup, let me know down in the comment section. If you have a favorite product, let me know. I know a lot of people have raved about the Glow Tonic. I actually have some and I do enjoy using it. Let me know if you've ever used that before and what your thoughts are on it. But other than that, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one and do not forget to stay dazzling.